Dr. Parmley here. I'm going to show you something to do while you're at work for those of you who sit all day and you may have some back pain, may get headaches, uh, you have postural disorders, whatever it is. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a lacrosse ball if you don't already have one. You can get these at Amazon, Walmart, Target um, for relatively cheap. And what you can do is while you're sitting, place that ball. Put it along the spine. Uh, the good muscle to put it on is that QL. So that's right into that little soft spot on the side of your spine. You place it in there, move your torso around, get some release there. What you wanna do with any time you're doing release work is if you feel any tender spot or any spot that's causing referral. So if you press here and you feel it shooting up or if you press here and you feel it shooting down, Make sure you're holding that spot until that, that sensation subsides. That means there's an active trigger point. Anytime there's active trigger points that can cause pain, that can affect the other muscles of where you're feeling that referral. So make sure we're holding until till we feel that release. And then go ahead and work on other muscles. Other muscles I would recommend working on is the, the, the middle, middle trap, lower trap, and rhomboids. So the rhomboids are going to be the deeper ones. So you can kind of get press into there a little more. Again, hold any tender spots, any trigger points until they release. And another one is the infraspinatus. Infraspinatus is on top of that shoulder blade. I posted a, uh, I believe a video, brief video about the infraspinatus and, and, the, uh, and wrote a piece about it. Trigger points here can refer down to the arm and into the shoulder as well. So. These are very important to release because you don't necessarily feel these, these trigger points. You don't necessarily feel the dysfunction, but they are often very painful, especially during massages when I work on them. 90% of people never knew that they had that tension. So make sure you're working on those, that, uh, that infraspinatus, hold to release. And I would also do some neck stretches as well. So just hold each stretch for about 45, 60 seconds. So do a lateral neck stretch, and then I would also pull down at an angle towards the armpit, and then hold that stretch again, 45, 60 seconds. Anything less than that, you're not getting a real stretch, especially for you, those of you who are over tight. So go ahead, get, get a lacrosse ball, work those muscles, hold on any tender spots, release, and what you're gonna be able to do is relax those muscles, get the blood flow to those muscles, help them contract and release properly and get rid of any calcium buildup that was that was formed through all that tension and that's going to allow you to do the next exercise that I'm going to show you while you're while you're at work so those muscles will be firing like they should so I will see you on the next video and go ahead and get you a lacrosse ball if you don't already have one and get started on that right away thanks